Uh, this book is called Peter Rabbit's Happy Easter. And can you see who's reading with us? Ooh, those are pretty colors, aren't they? What do you think it could be? Could it be a bunny? <laughs> it sure is. It's a bunny reading Peter Rabbit's Happy Easter. Here we go. All right, Peter Rabbit's Happy Easter, written by Grace Macaron and illustrated by David McPhil. So thank you to Grace and David for this book. Okay, here we go. Peter Rabbit was feeling very sorry as he had been a very naughty little bunny yesterday. He had snuck into Mr. McGregor's garden, though his mother had clearly told him not to, and he lost quite his quite new blue jacket. Now Peter was determined to do something wonderful for his mother, so she would see what a good little bunny he really was. Then she would love him more than she loved his sisters, Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, who never seemed to do anything wrong. And so Peter Rabbit's exciting Easter adventure began. All right, let's see what happens. One sunny morning, Peter was walking past Mrs. McMullen's hen house when he saw that there were so many more eggs than anyone could possibly need. So he took a few eggs from the hen house and went along his way. Was that the right thing to do? I don't think so. By and by, Peter walked past Mr. Holloway's hen house, where he saw that there were many, many more eggs than anyone could possibly need. So he took a few eggs from Mr. Holloway's hen house and he went along his way. Mr. Holloway doesn't look very happy. Not much later, Peter walked past Mrs. Jones's hen house and saw once again that there were many, many, many more eggs than anyone could possibly need. So he took a few eggs from Mrs. Jones's hen house and he went along his way. By noon, Peter had gathered an enormous number of eggs, which he carried to his home at the bottom of the very big fir tree. What a good little bunny I am, thought Peter. Mother will be so pleased. As you may have guessed, Peter was not the tidiest of little rabbits. And as he tried to carefully stack the eggs against a wall, several open jars of paint, yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, and green, toppled over. Oh, no. Uh-oh, what's Peter going to do? And what a wonderful accident it was. The eggs were now decorated with all the colors of the rainbow. Presently, old Mrs. Rabbit returned from the baker's to find a house full of painted eggs. I gathered them just for you, Peter said. Now, my dear, said Mrs. Old Rabbit, quite amu amazed by the inventiveness of her son's mischief, while I appreciate your good intentions, you should not take what is not yours. You really must return these eggs to their owners. So that night, Peter returned every one of the colorful eggs. And the next day, Mrs. M McMullen's, Mr. Holloway's, and Mrs. Jones's children, along with all the other children of the neighborhood, were delighted by what they found scattered in their gardens. As it happened to be Easter Sunday, the once quite naughty Peter Rabbit started a new tradition and earned himself a respectable new name, and Peter Rabbit became the Easter Bunny. That was a cute story. So it was kind of by accident, right, that he became the Easter Bunny? That was very cute. Did you like that bunny? Mm -hmm, I sure did. Oh, good. Well, thank you so much for reading with us. Come back and read another book soon, okay? Bye.